Good morning and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here today with Rocky and Fred and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is Rocky's ability to understand and respond to his formal on-leash obedience commands. The little tiny corrections and lots of motivations that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Fred is using a regular six foot web training leash and he keeps the bulk of that leash folded in his right hand. That leaves his left hand free to give any little correction that's needed and the only correction that we give is a little tug and release on the training collar and that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Rocky's going to come home with his very own training equipment and you're going to be taught how to use that properly during your follow-up training session tomorrow. Now right now he is lying down very nicely at Fred's left which is where all of our obedience training is done and the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Right. Healing is proper leash walking and the command is Rocky heal. Now at this point he has a job to do and that is to maintain pace with you when you're walking not forging ahead or lagging behind but walking nicely next to your left leg then each time that you stop your feet, he has been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for his next command. So this makes walking your dog much more of a pleasure. You're not being dragged down the street. I actually have a dog in here now for training whose owner needs shoulder surgery from walking her dog. So this makes walking him a pleasure. When you stop to cross traffic or talk to someone on the street, he should be sitting nicely at your left waiting for his next command. And the next command that we're gonna demonstrate for you is the sit stay. Stay is a hand and a voice command and because it is a stationary exercise, we do not use his name. You're gonna start out with this command working at about 30 to 45 seconds indoors as well as outdoors and you're gonna slowly work up over the next couple months to a three minute long sit stay. When Fred returns back to him, he will walk all the way around him, ending up back where they started at heel position. Everything starts and stops with the dog on your left, and Fred tells him to heel, and he gets up and goes again. Nice automatic sit. This is the sit stay again. Fred walks out to the end of the leash and turns to face him. And as I said, work indoors as well as outdoors. Wherever you want good behavior is where you're going to work your dog. And this time, instead of returning back to him, Fred is going to demonstrate the come on command. And he's to come and sit nicely in front of you, facing your knees, not launching off your belly. And he's a really good guy. He's a really nice dog. My 20-year-old granddaughter who weighs 100 pounds and is a gymnast has worked with him. He's not a bully. Now the next exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is probably his least and the only one that we have to use food to motivate him is his down. This is the down from a heel position. So left open palm straight down toward the ground and the one word command to down. And stay. stay. And he's really better at that down than that. When Fred returns back to him again, he walks quickly back to heel position, stops at his shoulders, and he gives him another command. nice automatic sits. He's a smart boy. This down has been his kryptonite and we're working hard to get it for you before tomorrow. There we go. Good boy. And it's the only exercise that we've had to use a treat for. So I'll take that. Now we have demonstrated for you Rocky's heel, his automatic sit, his sit stay his sit, stay, and come, and his down. These are the commands that we want you to practice with Rocky on a daily basis if you have time, indoors as well as outdoors, and use your commands in your everyday life. 
We've enjoyed having him. We're here for you whenever you need us. If you have a problem, question, or concern, please call us first, and we will see you soon.